What's good, y'all? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day today because you already know your boy Kari is having a fantastic day. Today, if you watched yesterday's video, you already know what's happening. But if you didn't, before you know what's happening, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, please. Today, I'm going to get my Lexus LS430 fixed. Uh, for those of you who know about the transmission issues, hopefully today we can we can solve that problem. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have had an issue with um, the transmission, like doing a hard shift and um, like going from second gear to first gear. Just kind of really all the down, down shifts is kind of like I can notice it but that really that second to first is, is crazy. Through research and also posting on Facebook Marketplace, cause I was actually gonna sell the car. Through me actually trying to sell the car, you know, it's funny because like five different guys hit me up. First, they asked me what my issue was and I told them what was going on is hard shifting and uh, from second to first and it's just like being weird or whatever. And then um, the same way for every guy, they asked me what was wrong and I told them and they told me that the possible issue could be an ECU problem because this model year of Lexus LS430 to 2004, it has an electronic transmission. And I guess that means that the ECU is controlling when it shifts or whatever, it's not actually, it's doing it. I don't know, I don't understand that. It's electronic transmission, but that the ECU can cause problems in your shifting when the ECU goes bad or needs to be reprogrammed or something like that. Before I actually went on Facebook Marketplace and posted the car up, I was doing some research about it. And I did see some things about, you know, um, the ECU possibly being the issue. But hey, so through me doing that, I actually found a few guys, they gave me some solutions. Um, so right now I'm going to a guy who says he can fix it for hundred bucks and I'll be out in 30 minutes. So it's an hour drive out. And I guess I'll see you guys when we get there and we'll see if it gets fixed. So, peace for now. What's good, y'all? I'm back. I got the wood fixed, but the goddamn battery died. So I'm in water Walmart right now, I'm looking for a portable jumper. But I did drive the car a little bit and it was riding well. It was riding completely different. The little stopping thing is gone all the way. Like everything is riding so far so good. I haven't had it for too long though, but we are gonna see. We are gonna see. I'm gonna try to find this little jump starter because I got a little power in it. It's not like it's like like really tripping, but um, I do need a jump start right now. So I think the jump start will help. Hopefully the jump starter got jump, jump in it. When you buy it, do it automatically got jump in it? Or do you gotta like, what you gotta do? Unexpected turn of events, man. Had to tow the Lexi, man. Damn. Ain't that some bullshit? Came out here to get her fixed and had to get her towed. Fuck. Damn, man. What's up, y'all? So, I'm gonna kinda clear up everything that was supposed to happen and everything that actually happened. <laughs> so I started off the day Thursday um the 6th and today is actually Saturday the 14th so it's been um it's been a little bit over a week or about a week or whatever but um so on Thursday I was supposed to go to work get off work and then go to the guy that one of the guys off of Facebook marketplace referred me to that fixed his EC as well and basically cleared the problem that he had so Got off work, was on my way to him, and got to him. You know, it took about an hour to get to him. Um, he literally fixed my fixed the ECU in like 15 minutes, wasn't even 30. And after that, went to Walmart, and this was kind of nearby his place, but he fixed it right, so everything was smooth. I cranked the car on, started right up when I uh, left him, and everything. I drove it a little bit before I left him all that it was driving perfect like even just putting the car in reverse i could tell the difference in how the transmission was just smoothly just hitting every gear 
It wasn't doing the hard shifts from uh, second to first no more. It wasn't doing nothing. It was riding good. So I'm like, dang, all right, bet. We good. We cool. Went to Walmart, um, used the bathroom and stuff like that. I was about to grab some snacks or whatever for the, for the ride back. Man, tell me how. I come back outside and the car will not start. Not, not nothing. I'm just getting click, 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 click every time. And I'm thinking it's the battery. Because normally that, that clicking sound, is it, it can be associated with the battery too. But, you know, I was getting power in the car. So I'm like, hmm, that's kind of weird. But, you know, anyway, I still went in. I bought me a whole new battery. I was going to get a battery jumper. But I don't know if the battery jumpers come charged up or you got to charge it first or how it worked. So I ended up just getting a whole new battery and went, put the battery in the car and everything. Turns out wasn't even the battery. The battery's fine. Because I even had somebody from Roadside Assistance come out. I'm like, man, do I need a jump? Did I buy a bad battery? So he put his little machine on, on both the batteries because he had one of the machines that tell you the voltage of the battery and everything like that. So first he tried to jump it when I had the new battery on there. Couldn't even jump it with the new battery on there. So I was like, all right, well, since the new battery ain't even working and my old, and I asked him to test the old battery, my old battery good. I'm like, man, I'm taking this battery back. So took that battery back, all that like that. Eventually, you know, I'm like, all right, it's either my alternator or my starter or, or whatever. It, it, and it, at this point, I'm, it gotta be my starter, you know what I'm saying? Cause the car is just not, it's not doing nothing. It's not turning over. It's not crank, no start, none of that. It's just, just ticking, just tick, tick, tick every time. Even um, the guy that did the ECU for me, he even came out and tried to help me uh, like knock start it or something. But the thing about these LS430s, man, that I did not know, the freaking starter is literally underneath the um, intake manifold. <laughs> That's something I'm not used to. I'm used to the old Honda, you know what I'm saying? The start, oh, open the hood up, starter right there alternator right there everything just literally right there i could see every component of the motor as soon as i open the hood and look down at it so my plans for the ls430 see most people would have given up right there i had transmission problems now i won't start all these different things i already had to fix the bumper and all that stuff but i'm not gonna give up man this is just gonna be the start of my lexus ls430 build series and this is gonna be my first series ever on my channel. And so far you guys have been liking the LS430 videos. So I'm gonna try to keep going with the LS430 videos and I'm gonna make this car something amazing. I promise I will. Cause I feel like this is a really good car. I got something good here and I just wanna make the best of it, you know? So the next video you see me doing I'll probably be tearing down pretty much everything on the LS430. Not everything, but I'm taking the bumper off because I need a new bumper. I'm taking the mirrors off because the mirrors need to be fixed too. I might take the rear bumper off too, but the rear bumper can kind of just get painted. But the, mo the main things are the bumper, the front bumper, um, and the side view mirrors. And I think that's it. So, And I'm going to start also um, breaking down the... Uh, everything with the intake manifold and stuff like that to where I can just get to it. So I don't, this ain't going to be happening over, this is going to be happening over a few, a few, a few weeks, maybe even a few months because I got the Honda, you know what I mean? So I have a car that I could drive every day and I'm also going to be doing work on that. You know, I want to do a muffler delete on that. You know, I need to do some just overall maintenance things. Um, it does burn a lot of oil. So I don't know what's that about, but I mean, it rides and I always keep oil in it. So yeah, man, so you got the Lexus LS430 and you got the Honda and these cars are both going to be great vehicles and I'm hoping I can keep them forever. <laughs> Even if I got to swap some motors out or anything like that, I want to keep them forever. And we're just going to see where, where everything goes, you know, um, you know, where, where, where life takes me with the cars. And hopefully I'll get more cars. Some, I'll get some trucks out here. I'll get some motorcycles out here. Um, you guys just stay tuned if you're liking the content and there's going to be different content on the way how to do different things and not just about cars but about about life and different stuff like that so if you're enjoying it please like the video subscribe to the channel 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.